Okay, so this next Vart Torah is in Sefer Yonas Elim from the Ramah Mifano um, Perek Tzadik Gimel. And it's about the concept of Leah and Rachel and the simonim that R- uh, Rachel gives to Leah. And so in general, the concept of Leah is the idea of the tefillah of uh, Arvis, the night tefillah where Nyakov uh, took Leah. So it says, "Veikaches leya bito." So shalakcha bedvarim zut fila lakashta lezavka panim bepanim. So the concept of uh, and he took leya. When it says and he took, we have an expression in, in Torah that uh, he took her. That that uh, um, just like by Aaron, and he took him with words. And it's meaning to say um, that the word lekicha also means to take. Um, uh, someone with with uh, words that's tefila. So when Yaakov took Yaakov took Leah, it's tefila, and um, the it also hints to intimacy. And Leah we know is bina, and be, this is hinted to in the word mita, the bed, because the the word bed is composed of a hay, and that's the hay ila, the supernal hay. The four letters of Hashem's name corresponds with uh, Chachma, Bina, and, and uh, the Midos, and, and Malchus, and the He is Bina, and that corresponds with Leah and, in, in general. And the, uh, the Memtes of Mita are the 49 gates of Bina, and the He is the 50th gate itself, um, which ya- Yaakov uh, is uniting with, uh, with and the Tfilas um, Mairiv. So... Now, in, in the nighttime, Leah couldn't unite with Yaakov on her own. She had to have the simanim from Rachel. Now, what were these simanim? So here, he's, first of all, he, sa- he implies that Rachel was under the bed. And Rachel used her voice to tell, to, to speak. Now, you might imply that that itself was how Leah, Leah fooled Yaakov, because Rachel was the one speaking, even though she was the one in the bed, and Rachel was under the bed. Now, um, it's the concept of that uh, parts of Rachel becomes a nekuda and, and becomes very small at night. Uh, so so the, the, the idea is that, that Malchus uh, is at nighttime, you have less of a revelation of godliness, and uh, the, 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 that's the idea of dinim of Malchus, of uh, the Rachel, so to speak, it becomes a point, and, and that's the idea of her under the bed. And, uh, but the, what are, the simonim that she gives are actually spiritual simonim. And, and they, over here, the simonim are uh, Chala, Nida, and Hadlaka Saner. So uh, Nida is the lowest level, it corresponds with Netzachod Yisod, the legs. Chala is chagas. You make the chala dough with your hands. Um, then hadlaka saner, the candle is chabad, which is is the light. And um, there's also uh, chava was given uh, the, the the chala to atone for her eating, and um, the, um, the 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 uh, the nida in, in order to. Uh, the hot stick al al atzman din shemaim, and uh, the 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 candle was for a hope. Chana also is 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 Rashi Tevos Chala Nida Hadlakas as as uh, the Rebbe would often say, but it's it brings it here as well. But Chana is Gematria Sag, which is a Tikkun Elyon, whereas uh, Chav is only Gematria Miloy of Ma. And the, the point is, is that there's different names of Hashem which represent different levels of purification of, of this side, of uh, the blemishes of uh, And Chava only was able to fix it to a certain degree, the Miloy Ma, whereas uh, Chana was able to fix it with, uh, on the level of Sag, the name of Hashem that spells out 63, and which is, which is the, the Tikkun. And um, you can also say, he says here, the, that the, the three Simanim, of Rachel, the the Chala Nida Hanadlaka Saner are all in Mochin. That the Chala is in Chachma, Reishi Sarisoch Sechem. So the concept of Reishis is the idea of of, of Chachma, Reishis Chachma. Uh, 
Nida is in Bina, the Dinin Misari Mina, the concept of judgments, the, the blood of, of, of Nida comes from Bina, that judgments come from Bina. And Hadlaka Sinair, the candle, Bidas Hameir Bukholakoma Makorach Al Yonos, who Shakyu the Lana Bukhol Makom. So the concept of Das um, is the candle that shines to everything else. So uh, that's the idea of um, uh, of of, uh, of the simonim of, of Rachel. Now, um, when Yaakov woke, woke up, it was it was Leah. So um, it, that's that actually hints to the tefillah of Shachris, which is also a yichud of Yaakov and Leah, and. Um, that he was able to recognize her from her voice because I guess she was she was the one speaking to him now, and um, um, that's the idea of yeah, the. Uh, she's called Dayel Ashachar because he he loved her, and uh, the, that's the secret of Yehav Gamis Rachel Melea. Don't read it that he loved Rachel more than Leah, but rather from Leah, from Leah's love. He also loved Rachel. Uh, it wasn't only Rachel's love that he loved her, but it was also from from the love of Leah, and uh, that's the also the idea of of uh, the tefillah of Shachris is also connected from from uh, from Rachel uh, that that the these chus of Rachel gives to Leah in order so that there should be a yichud and a tefillah in Shachris. Now, he points out that the simonim, a simon, is only a sign for something, meaning to say it's only a ha'ara, it's only a glimmer, because the yichud of Rachel is actually a much higher yichud, and therefore the simonim that Rachel gave Leah are actually only a glimmer of the light that uh, when you have the finally, when you have the yichud of, of, of Rachel.